Okay, today we're going to discuss the difference between the fan-cooled and the uh, water-cooled CPUs. Uh, both these machines are practically identical. They're both running the uh, ASUS P5N-D motherboards. They both have identical Intel Q9300 quad cores at uh, 2.5 gigahertz. Uh, both are running 2 gigs of uh, G-Skill RAM and they both have uh, Western Digital 350 gig serial ATA hard drives. Um, about the only difference really is the video cards. This one has the ATI HD4870 and this one is running, I don't know if you can see that, it's got uh, dual NVIDIA uh, GT7800s in there. Uh, other than that, the motherboard, processor, everything's about identical. The only difference is that the Yantec has got nine cooling fans and is really set up to move some air versus the old water cool case that I had put together that doesn't uh, move as much air but it has the water block right on the processor so we're going to check some temperatures and uh, see if we can kind of compare the two side by side. Uh, first up, let's see if we can get that in there. It's uh, We have a slight overclock on both of them. Uh, I'm running about 15% overclock, running them at about 2.8. Uh, here is the motherboard temperature and uh, CPU temperature on the water cool. And uh, let's see if this comes in or not. That might not. That's uh, running the 2.8 also. Looks like it's flickering. And let me get my PC probe up here. A little tricky trying to do this with your left hand. Okay, and that's running 39 degrees on the processor at 32 on the motherboard versus 42 and 36 on the water cool. Uh, I will mention it is fairly warm in here tonight. I'm sweating a little bit so the temperatures seem kind of high but uh, we're going to run some benchmarks here and uh, compare them both under load and see what we come up with. Okay, we've been running Super Pi on both machines for a while. They're going through their second loop now. Um, one thing I should have mentioned, I don't know if you can see it on this one, but this one does have the Rosewill uh, Z3 uh, cooler with uh, heat pipes on it. So that's also going to add to the cooling on this case, um, just using plain air. Uh, so far the results I've seen, I don't know if you can pick that up, um, we've been running right around 49 degrees. 48, 49 on the CPU on the water cooled, and about 36 on the motherboard. And on the water cool or the air cooled, we have uh, about 44 on the processor and 32 on the motherboard. So it's running about five degrees maybe cooler on the CPU, and uh, about four degrees cooler on the uh, motherboard itself. So it's kind of a toss-up between the two. If you have the money to spend on a, a good air-cooled case like that, uh, the case alone would run you probably about 120 bucks, plus whatever fans you want to add to it and the CPU cooler. Versus buying something like this uh, Thermal Take Big Water water cooling system, I think uh, they'll probably both run you about the same money in the long run. It depends if you have a case that you want to use and uh, take advantage of or if you want to build something new. Um, I guess the best solution would probably be to get a new modern case like that with good airflow and then add the water cooling to it. I think you could really get the temperatures down on it and uh, maybe do some really heavy overclocking if you want to. But uh, that's a, a pretty fair comparison between the two. Um, not a huge difference between them. The water cooled is a lot quieter, I will give it that. A lot less fans, a lot less moving stuff in there. 
um, much nicer to have sitting next to you versus the Antec, which sounds kind of like a wind tunnel sitting next to you. Um, but it does move a lot of air and it does keep things cool. So to answer any of your questions, uh, that's kind of the comparison between the two. And I hope it helps some of you to decide what you want to do.